welcome to another episode of Ask Alex, where this is the show where we take all your questions and answer them right here on the show. I'm your host, Alex Hampton, and today we have a super jam-packed show today. A lot of stuff has come out in the news. A lot of stuff has just been flooding my email. I got a lot of questions about this particular subject that we're about to talk about and more. It's just such a crazy, crazy episode today. And if you want your question on the show, it's very simple. All you have to do is just send me an email at static14591010 at gmail.com. Or you can tweet me at Mr. Alex Hampson. Or you can leave a comment under my Instagram at Mr. Alex Hampton as well. A little quick plug here. I will be at Orlando MegaCon this Saturday and this Sunday. I'll be there live streaming the event. I'm going to meet all the actors and different cosplayers there. It's going to be an event that you don't want to miss. So if you're in the Orlando area or you plan on going to this Comic Con, go get your tickets today at MegaConOrlando.com. It's an event that you don't want to miss. It's one of the biggest Comic Cons in Orlando. Now that I've gotten that out the way, let's go ahead and jump into the first topic of today. And the first topic comes from a Shauna Evans, and she writes, Greetings from Tampa. So it's just been confirmed that Robert Pattinson is our new Batman. Do you think this is a smart move to cast Robert Pattinson uh, of the role of Batman? Well, thank you for your question, Shauna. So, what she's referring to in the last 24 hours, it's been confirmed that Robert Pattinson is our new Batman. He's going to be the new Batman that we all know from the comic books, and he's going to set up our new DCEU. He's going to be in Matt Reeves' uh, Batman movie. Um, so, my here's my initial thoughts of how I'm going to phrase what I think about this, uh, Shauna. So to answer your question, is this a smart move? Let me just say that Ben Affleck paved the way for what we should expect from this brand new Batman. And if you want my initial thoughts of what I thought of Robert Pattinson being confirmed as Batman, this is a terrible casting. This is straight terrible. Just straight awful. Straight, straight terrible. Listen, Robert Pattinson is an amazing actor. He has acting chops. He can do drama. He can do action. He can do all this other stuff. I'm not blaming. I'm not going to say the reason why this is terrible is because of of Twilight. Because I'm not a huge Twilight fan. I've only seen some of the movies, okay? So I'm not going to say that. I'm not basing my reasoning of this terrible casting for him to be Batman. Okay? I'm not going to base the fact that this is terrible because of Twilight. The reason why this is terrible, for me at least, is that Robert Pattinson, I don't believe, fits the mold of what Batman is. You, listen, again, I said that same thing about Christian Bell. Christian Bell knocked it out of the park. Maybe he can knock our socks off, but listen, I don't wanna see a vampire Batman, okay? I don't. I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be honest with you. This is a very terrible casting. If they were going to cast a younger Batman and do this new Rose Gallery of Villains versus a younger Batman and how he's setting up the DCEU, fine, you do that. But I just think that he, his, I don't think his acting ability is in the same realm as portraying the Dark Knight as we all know. The brooding Dark Knight that will haunt you at night. I don't, I can't see that from him. He hasn't done anything like that, in my opinion, that portrays that. There are certain movies where he's brooding, he's, he's intimidating. He, yes, but those movies don't mask from what we know of him as, in, as, as, as him betraying the role of Batman. So, when I first heard this news, I did like a live stream with my friend Malcolm Banks over at Fandos Anonymous, and I was like, you know, this is terrible. I don't want a vampire Batman. I don't. I don't. I thought that this is going... This Warner Brothers could have chose anybody, but they t decided to choose him. And I don't know why, but, you know, it's been confirmed. He's our new Batman, and when I do go see the movie, I'm going to check my preconceived notions at the door, watch the movie, and hope to God that this is a going to be a good interpretation of Batman. We'll see, but... If you want my honest opinion, Shauna, I don't think this was a smart move by Warner Brothers at all. I think this was very, very dumb and very, very terrible. 
But um, thank you for your question, Shauna. Let's go ahead and jump into the next topic, which comes from a Travis Tatum. And he writes, hey, Alex, is it true that Disney owns Hulu? Does that mean we will see the Daredevil and ex Daredevil character, Daredevil and etc. coming to Hulu? Well, thank you for your question, um, uh, Travis. So what Travis is referring to, there was a report that came out like a couple days ago that Disney now has required the full rights of Hulu, which means this is that it basically means that he does they do own Hulu. So now they have two streaming services. They have the Disney Plus service that comes out later this year, and now they have acquired the full rights of Hulu. It's being reported that Comcast still has management stake in Hulu, but probably around 2022 to 2024, um, Disney will completely own Hulu and all of the stakes that come with Hulu. So right now they own them immediately. So they control the programming and content. However, Comcast still has some management stuff regarding in um, Hulu. So yes, they do own Hulu. Now to answer the second part of your question, Will we see Daredevil, Luke Cage, The Defenders, all these great people in Hulu? It's a possibility, but keep in mind, these are Netflix series. So what Disney, I think, has to do is go to Netflix and see about buying the rights to those particular um, versions of those characters and putting them on Hulu. Because keep in mind, like... Disney does own those characters. They have the full rights of those characters, but they don't own the Charlie Coxes, the the Mike Coulters. They don't own the, those versions that was told on Netflix. Those are straight Netflix casting characters. So I think what they have to do is submit a deal with with Netflix to buy those care buy that buy those series off, and then move them to Hulu and then start the process of new seasons. It's a possibility. I don't really see it happening because the actors of those particular shows have kind of moved on to different projects. So, and that's not to say that they won't come back, but I don't think that we will see um, them come back anytime soon or these projects be greenlit greenlit at Hulu. Maybe it's a possibility, but you never know. Um, well, thank you for your question. Let's go ahead and jump to the next question, which comes from a Chris Manor, and he writes. It's been confirmed that Netflix may lose 28% of their subscribers due to the fact that major networks are pulling their content from from their service. Does this mean that Netflix will lose all their content that we that we know and love? Well, thank you for your question, uh, Chris. Um, no, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that all their content is going to be pulled, but certain networks like the CW, um, NBC Universal, and like um, and Disney slash Marvel are pulling most of their content off of Netflix probably by the end of the year um, because NBC Universal wants to launch their own streaming service. Disney Plus is coming out like during the fall and on top of that like there's some other stuff going on at different networks where they're launching their own their own services. So what what this poll what this question is what this question that Chris is referring to is that there's a poll going around that 28% of Netflix users will look, will literally unsubscribe from Netflix because they want to watch the content that they use. Now, here's the thing. Do I think that Netflix will completely lose all of their licensing? No, but Netflix is creating original content. So they realized that when they were doing this whole streaming service, they realized that they couldn't license content for, 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 for long. That's why they started creating their own content. Now, there's some stuff out on Netflix that's pretty cool, and there's stuff out on Netflix that's not. And at some point, Netflix is going to become a very independent, original streaming service where you still see some licensing content, but you'll also see more so of um, original content. So, like, I think CBS at one point is probably going to pull all, all of their shows that they have on Netflix off of Netflix because they have CBS All Access. So a lot of these networks are launching their own streaming services now. So 
do I think all of them would be pulled off Netflix? No, because ultimately you got to have a home for them. You have to have a home for that for those particular shows. And keep in mind, networks just because a network is launching a streaming service doesn't necessarily mean that they can't license off their property. That's they're going to get more money if they keep it on their streaming service and license it off. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be taken off. And I don't think that Netflix is going to like crumble. If anything, they're still winning. Now, they will take a hit once Disney takes off takes all their content off. But other than that, I don't think they're going to take a major, major hit. The CW is going to not put their content on Netflix. Well, the report is reading that the CW is going to not put it on Netflix immediately. They're going to uh, have it up for bid for like Amazon and Hulu and or Disney Plus or and Netflix. And so it doesn't mean it's not going to be on Netflix, but Netflix now has to bid for it now. So we'll see how that turns out going further, going forward into what Netflix is going to do. But I don't think Netflix is ultimately going to crumble. And now let's go ahead and jump into the last question of the day, which comes from a Christy Codwell. And she writes, Hey Alex, the new Batwoman trailer has dropped online. What are, your, what are your thoughts about the trailer, and where do you think that this show is going to go? Well, thank you for your question, Christy. Um, so what Christy's referring to, literally, within 24 hours of the Batman announcement, the Bat Batwoman trailer for the CW has released. And basically, the trailer shows um, Catherine Kane in Gotham City in a place where it's in ruins, and we basically see Catherine Kane become... Batwoman in a sense and it's a really compelling trailer I liked what they were showing us and how they're going to uh, sell us this character and how it's, she's going to be portrayed my only issue with this is that they're showing us an origin of Catherine Kane which we kind of already saw in the Elseworlds crossover we didn't really see her become Batman but Batwoman but we really but we understood why she was Batwoman you know, and I get it, you know, this is going to be her show and we have to see the progression of her character. But I just assume that the whole point of the Elseworlds crossover is that it was going to set up a potential Batwoman show. And once that was completed, we was going to pick up the show is going to pick up after the Elseworlds crossover to see where we're going to see Batwoman do certain things and how she's going to interact with different people in her city. So. I'm interested to see it. I, I, I like the character and I think that the actors who are involved are really good at what they do. So I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see what, where they're going to take the character. And I'm also very interested to see how they're going to incorporate and acknowledge that Batman exists and will we see a Bruce Wayne in this particular universe. So, um, well, thank you for your question, Christy. And um, that does my show, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, for watching this show. I'm so glad you guys keep coming back to watch uh, Ask Alex. If you, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit that button, and you can get all the different notifications that are going on on this particular channel um, and also please go to my patreon page and become a patriot at www.patreon.com slash momentum media i have two tiers on there i would love for you guys to be patrons to help support me and what's going on in momentum media and also i will be at our learn at orlando megacon this saturday and this sunday if you're in orlando and you watch my content Yo, come see me. I'll be there live streaming the event. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. I can't wait to meet certain actors. It's going to be fun. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube page to get more exclusive content coming from my YouTube channel. And if you want to watch my previous videos, go ahead and click on this video up here or this video down here where you get to see more exclusive content coming from my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video, and you guys have a blessed day.